All right, if you're planning on decorating a nursery but need a little direction, we have some tips this morning. Melissa Fleur and Pam Ginocchio join us this morning from the website Project Nursery. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for being here. Thanks for all right, having for, us. First of all, I love Project Nursery, but for people who have no idea what it is, explain what it is and how you started it, why sure. you started it. Sure. Well, Pam and I are big fans of design in general. So when we were pregnant with our first children, we went to the internet scouring for great design ideas. Mm -hmm. and we couldn't find one place to offer that. So we decided to develop ProjectNursery.com as a way to focus on interior design for children. Children. And since then, we've expanded to toddler rooms as well as birthday parties, baby showers, and beyond. So we're really just a resource for parents. It's nice because when I had my kid two years ago, I, I had no idea what to do. I just thought, oh, I'm having a boy. I'll paint it blue. But you guys have so many there are pictures on there and just different exactly. design ideas, which is great. Yeah, actually, what makes our site so unique is that those gallery of pictures, both designers and parents can log on upload their baby's nursery or their child's first birthday and then the entire projectnursery.com community can log on get inspiration rate those rooms and chat with the designers okay so let's start off with where do you even begin if i, if I need i'm if sure. you're trying to plan a nursery where do you start sure well you need an inspiration piece to start and often parents will look straight to the crib bedding okay so for example what? here we brought this from annette tatum it's a project nursery fan favorite called it's orchid beautiful. brocade and what's great about this is the soft color palette and lavender mm -hmm. parents are now leaning towards some softer muted colors such as grays and yellows and lavenders and more mature prints such as this damask right here. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be that cutesy uh, baby nursery. It can be a bit more sophisticated these days. It doesn't have to be pink flowers. Exactly. Parts. Pink and blue, you can go <laughs> beyond that. Okay, and we also have a picture, I think, of um, a uh, nursery that shows some of the more details of what the crib bedding looks like. Um, but So that's a good place to start, right? Cr start with the crib exactly. bedding. Find something that you like. And then you can kind of transition to other elements of the nursery. We've brought here this beautiful, eco-friendly mobile. Okay. It fe features uh, whales in laser-cut birch. It retails for $40 from modernbabycompany.com. And what we like about it is the clean, simple lines. It's super lightweight. You can hang it over the crib or actually any place in the room. It's like a piece of art. Oh, okay. So you could hang it maybe over the changing table, right, exactly. something like that. Over the rocker, anything for baby. You don't to have look to at. go with the, the stuffed animal right. mobile, it's the a lot bright more colors. Sophisticated. Exactly. Sophisticated is a nursery trend. Okay. Exactly. What about you also brought they're called eco poofs? Yes. What are eco -poofs? eco poofs? They're from Morocco. These uh -huh. are made by Zidzid Kids. Okay. Really it's one of favorite. our favorite items of ours. So what's great about this, it serves as dual purpose. So mm -hmm. we're big fans of anything that's dual purpose, especially storage. So in this particular case, you can go ahead and stuff your child. Ooh. animals and extra blankets because you're always looking for storage yeah, for those items. Yeah, way to hide toys. Exactly. Taking and over. One tip we give parents is, you know, forgo the $600 ottoman for your feet on the glider. Buy a couple oh. of these eco-poofs, prop your feet up on them, and uh, they'll grow with your child. They'll look great in any aspect, you know, any room in your house. Okay, and also we're going to talk about wall decals because for me, I didn't want to put any pictures over or, you know, behind the crib in case of an earthquake. So this is a good exactly. option. Exactly. We are huge fans of wall decals. They offer that wow factor in the nursery for no commitment. And what I mean by that is with the no stick, uh, re-stick technology, you can peel them off the wall, put them back on, you can put them on a canvas. So I have three kids, we're doing the shuffle in the rooms. I took wall decals from one room, put them on another room. I didn't realize that you could actually take them off and move them. They're I thought so That's fantastic. why I actually have stayed away from them because I thought it was permanent. Exactly, there are a lot of brands that are doing that now, so you can go ahead and remove them very easily. In addition, a one tip, if you have orange peel walls or rough walls, you can go ahead and place any wall decal on canvases and that, hang that in your room for art. Okay, and lastly, speaking of art, this is adorable. Yes. yes. We love anything personalized. Yeah. Kids love to see their names and parents love it too. This particular canvas is from nameyourdesign.com. Uh -huh. It's $95 and it's called Alphabet Soup. You can, as Melissa said, you can um, frame canvases or you can leave them unframed for a little bit more of a contemporary look. Okay, and I also noticed you guys do editor picks, right? Where exactly. So if you're looking for some type of recommendation, like I need art, I don't know what to where to look, you exactly. actually recommend things? Most of these products can be found within our Project Nursery shop. We've partnered okay. with a company called Open Sky and allow us to sell directly to our audience. Oh, okay, good to know. All right, well, in the next hour, Melissa Floor and Pam Tinocchio will return with tips for parents looking to throw the perfect birthday party, which I am. I'm looking to throw a two-year-old birthday party coming up, so this is going to be great. So Good. stick around. We'll talk to you in just